Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Thank you.
Good morning, and welcome to Dalhousie University's Spring Convocation. My name is Terry Balser. I'm Dalhousie's provost and will be your master of ceremonies today. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that Dalhousie University is located in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq, and pay my respects to the elders. Well, Leo. Please be seated. There are two times on university campuses that are of particular significance. The first is at the start of each year when we welcome our new students to campus. And the second is at the end when we come together, as we are today, to celebrate the completion of your programs. For many, this day comes with a range of emotions, sadness at leaving behind a community and a place, or perhaps eagerness to move on from this place, possibly fear for those who aren't sure what's next, 
and certainly gratitude for all who supported you along the way. But above all, I hope you feel pride. You've done what many people only dream of, and you should be proud of the accomplishment. But whatever the emotion, convocation marks the end of years of hard work, a turning point, and an opportunity for a new chapter. And that is definitely something to celebrate. So feel free to make lots of noise, take lots of pictures, and enjoy yourselves. You're welcome to move around the auditorium for photographs, but please be careful not to block those behind you. And please do share your best pictures with us on Twitter at hashtag Dalgrad. And as always, Convocation is being webcast, so you can have the pleasure of watching it as many times as you want. <laughs> now, I'd like to take a moment to introduce those individuals who will participate during the ceremony, as well as a few other members of our platform party. So when I call your names, please remain standing as you're able. The Honorable Anne McClellan, our Chancellor. Peter McKinnon, Interim President and Vice Chancellor. Peter Farney, Vice President Advancement. Dr. Kevin Hewitt, Chair of Senate. Dr. John Newhook, Dean, Faculty of Engineering. Dr. Adam Donaldson, Associate Dean, Faculty of Graduate Studies. Donna Bourne Tyson, University Librarian. Dr. Ivan Joseph, University Beadle and Vice Provost Student Affairs. Dr. Craig Lake, Professor with Engineering and our Convocation Speaker. I'd also like to highlight the following engineering faculty members who have joined us on stage. Vijay Kumar. Dr. Bill Robertson. Dr. Andrew Corkum. Dr. Graham Gagnon. Dr. Yi Lu. Dr. Farid Tahiri, and Dr. Bill Phillips. On the platform party today and in the audience are others who have contributed to and been committed to your success all the way along. These include your dean and associate deans, as well as numerous faculty members, staff, and administrators. They are absolutely essential to all that we do. So I ask all of you to please stand as you are able and let us acknowledge you. We also thank all the family, friends, and supporters who joined us today to celebrate our gradu graduating students. I'm it's now my pleasure to ask Interim President and Vice Chancellor of Dalhousie University, Peter McKinnon, to give the opening remarks. Good morning, all. Uh, thank you very much. Welcome, Chancellor McClellan, members of the academic procession, parents, family, guests, and particularly our graduates. Before beginning my formal remarks, I want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, something unique, special about this convocation season. In the past, we had a university mace placed at center stage to signal the start of each ceremony. While the mace served Dalhousie well over the years, in 2016, the university established a mace revisioning committee to craft an object that better reflects the diversity of the Dalhousie community and its values while still paying tribute to the university's history and heritage. Earlier this month at our first convocation ceremony at the agricultural campus in Truro, we unveiled Dalhousie's New Dawn staff of place and belonging. The staff was created by award-winning Mi'kmaq artist Alan Silliboy and collaborator Mark Austin. They worked with artists and craftspeople from diverse communities across Nova Scotia 
to bring it to life. With the New Dawn staff, we journey proudly into our third century, informed by the past and inspired for the future. Thank you to the artists and collaborators for their work on this important project. So Convocation is a wonderful time of year for students, for those who have supported their studies, and for those of us who work at Dalhousie. Seeing grads cross the stage and posing for photos with family and friends on our beautiful campus is a source of immense pride and joy. If you will permit me a moment of reflection, I cannot help but think of my own graduation from Dalhousie when I received my Bachelor of Arts degree 50 years ago in the spring of 1969. As I reflect on my half century of life since then, the most prominent theme relates to the changes that I have witnessed at Dalhousie, in Halifax, in Canada, and the world. Nothing endures but change, wrote the Greek philosopher Heraclitus more than 2,000 years ago. And while he was speaking of the cosmos, his words apply to earthly life as well. I cite as one example my arrival 50 years ago at Queen's University to begin my legal education. There was a new offering in the curriculum, a first at Queen's or at any Canadian law school. The new course was called Computers and the Law, and it was taught by a professor, Hugh Lawford. The course was quickly the object of sarcasm, even derision on the part of our class. What serious law student would take computers and the law? Must be some kind of flaky bird course in which you didn't have to do any work and it would be easy to acquire an A. Serious law students take real estate transactions, commercial law, wills and estate planning, taxation, not some peripheral, impractical, quaint offering called computers and the law. Looking back now, 50 years later, Professor Lawford and his new class in computers and the law foretold a revolution in law, in legal practice, in law libraries, in legal research, and legal services. The late Professor Lawford is remembered as a pioneer who saw change coming, who understood its emerging shape, and who stepped out from the crowd to lead it. Nothing endures but change. And that brings us back to the full meaning of today. What change will you, will we, face? What shall be the political, technological, environmental, employment, and personal changes that you will encounter? How adaptable to change will you be? Will you lead it, watch it, resist it? The single greatest preparation for adaptation and leadership is advanced education, and that is the real meaning of today. Your families and friends, your instructors and all who contribute in any way to Dalhousie University celebrate and salute your success. I am fortunate enough to join them and to join you in this well-earned celebration. Warmest congratulations and very best wishes always. I now invite our graduates to please rise. Madam Chancellor, as Chair of the Senate of Dalhousie University, I ask you to confer degrees on those candidates whose names have been approved by Senate. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in Dalhousie University, I admit to their respective degrees and diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto those candidates who have fulfilled the requirements of that 
degree and whose names have been approved by Senate. Admito Voss ad gratum. Congratulations. Graduates, you may be seated. I now call upon Dr. John Newhook, Dean of Engineering, to present the candidates who are here today receiving degrees, followed by Dr. Adam Donaldson, Associate Dean of Graduate Studies, to present the candidates who are here today receiving higher degrees. Thank you. The names of some of the graduates to be called will be followed by the designation Sexton Scholar. Dr. Frederick H. Sexton was the president of Nova Scotia Technical College from its establishment in 1909, <coughs> excuse me, until his retirement in 1947. In honor of his contribution to the university, we designate as a Sexton Scholar each graduate who has achieved a cumulative academic standing of A or higher. The names of some graduates to be called will be followed by the designation Distinction. These graduates have successfully completed the requirements of their program with an academic standing of at least A- minus during the program. The names of some graduates to be called will be followed by the designation Gold T Award or Silver T Award. These are graduates who are being recognized by the Student Union for their participation in athletics, student government, and extracurricular activities during the course of studies. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirement for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering. Mitchell Alexander Abbott, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Ahmed Abdullah, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Connor Minog Acton, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. Connor is also the recipient of the Class of 1985 Award. Mohammed Man Al Hassim, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Mohammed Al Mukhtar. Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Abdullah Al Qasim, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Jean Pierre Joseph Alphonse, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Ahmed Khalid El Said, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Perry Nathan Amon, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering with distinction. Jonathan Arab, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Kaylee Hinky Eau Claire, Bachelor of Engineering, Environmental Engineering. Samuel Balcom, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Robert William Barrett, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Alan Cameron Beaton, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. You okay? 
Desmond Paul Bedard, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Stephen Louis Bellier, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Yep. Abdurrahman Bandari, Bachelor of Engineering in Industrial Engineering. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. And now the other Bandari brother, Mohammed Bandari. Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Lauren Ann Boudreau, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Sophie Grace Boudelier, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Thomas Booker, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Distinction. <laughs> Simon Evan Burwell, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Jonathan Chow, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Jacob Devere Davis, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. William Andrew Dimitropoulos, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Chrissy Duggan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with distinction. Easton Hugh Dunkley, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. So every now and then, ladies and gentlemen, I randomly meet someone who I want to say something about. And, no, no. and actually, this wonderful gentleman who's graduating in environmental engineering, I actually know his wife much better than him because his wife is the new chair of the Board of Governors here at Dalhousie and a lawyer at Stuart McKelvey. So it's so wonderful. She told me you weren't going to show up because you were afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it it's so wonderful you're here? Hugs. <laughs> Martin Robert Earl, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Sexton Distinction, University Medal in Civil Engineering, and the Canadian Society for Civil Engineering Certificate of Achievement. Your card. Hello. <laughs> I, need, I need your card. Uh-oh. You're going to have to help me with your name, too. <laughs> J. 
Juliette Egbulifu, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Omar Riyad El Aju, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Sexton Distinction. Oduyami Eswabanga, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Catherine Patricia Fillmore, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Samuel Fox, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Joseph Anthony Francis, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Weiji Gan, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering, Distinction, University Medal in Mineral Resource Engineering. Weiji is also the recipient of the Mining Society of Nova Scotia Centennial Scholarship Medal. Congratulations. <laughs> Carrie Jean Isabel Gilbert, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Matthew Alexander Glynn, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Riley William Guest, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Ahmed Hamad, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Mohammed Sharif Hassan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Zeban He. Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Stephen Eric Troy Heffler, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Kelly Irene Hines, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Gerald James Hawley, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Brian Edward Howell, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Distinction. <laughs> Lauren Hughes, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Mohammed Mahmoud, sorry. Mahmoud in Istanbuli, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Hannah Lynn Jenkins, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering with Distinction. Hannah is also the recipient of the Atlantic Land Improvement Contractors Association Award. Wan Li Chen, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Sexton Distinction.
Usman Jobarte, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Chantelle Margaret Kelly, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Oops. Pictures. <laughs> Austin McMillan Kennedy, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Lucas David Kinney, Bachelor of Engineering and Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Hamze Kamash, Bachelor of Engineering and Civil Engineering. Samuel Christopher Kincaid, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Nicholas William Kuzednikov, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ahmed Iktakar. Latif, Bachelor of Engineering and Civil Engineering. <laughs> Patrick Raymond Lamal, Bachelor of Engineering and Civil Engineering, Sexton Distinction. Chengbo Li, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Oh. <laughs> Yaling Li, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Eric Juan Lorenzo, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Julian Michael Loveless, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Catherine Audrey McCall, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Lloyd Daniel McVeigh McCormick, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Lloyd must have been nervous. His card is all kind of crumpled. And... Laura uh, Margarita McEachern, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. John Cole McIsaac, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Megan McGee, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. So I know how to pronounce the first name. <laughs> Samama Saba Mahmood, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Cameron Stewart Malcolm, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering.
Jocelyn Marie Manley, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Jocelyn is also the recipient of the Michael Lister Memorial Award and the Camp 7 Iron Ring Award. Congratulations. Elise Marie Marshman, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Brandon William Marthaler, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Mitchell Maynard, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Adam Yusuf Mazana, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Oh. Neil Richard McCollum, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Jacqueline Lee McLennan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Naomi Taylor McKay, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Margo Mary Angus McLean, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Corey James McNamara, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Nicholas Ryan Miller, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Paolo Mont, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Ahmed Nasser, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Raman Newman, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Just hang on, Ali. We can admire you for a few more. <laughs> Ali Yazid Nazal, Bachelor of Engineering and Civil Engineering. <laughs> Will Johan Nelson, Bachelor of Engineering and Civil Engineering. Yeah! Anna Jane O'Brien, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> James Roost Ostvogels, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Caitlin Pettigrew, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> S 
Simon James Pellerin, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Isaias Jose Peraza, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Alex Edward Place, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Sexton Distinction. Ryan James Power, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Wade David Quinn, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Youssef Hassam Reyes, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Cedric Adrian Rosemond, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Brendan Hugh Ross, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Down here, ladies and gentlemen, I've had the opportunity to work with Brendan's mother for many years. Leslie is an outstanding senior executive at the world's largest agricultural inputs company, Nutrient. Your dad is over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Oh, right the there. The photo man. The photo man. Anyway, it is wonderful to see you all here this morning. Congratulations. Just like your mom and dad, go out and change the world. Joshua Lucas Ryan, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Jennifer Alice Sampson, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Swanley Santiago Garcia, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Shaquille Hassan Sadiq, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Rashida Slater, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering, Sexton Distinction, University Medal in Environmental Engineering, and the Camp 7 Iron Ring Award. Catherine Alexandra Smith, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ronald Bailey Strong, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Joshua Akira Takanaka, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. (Applause) 
Ren Tang, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. Osama Kelton Tashma, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Catherine Jane Terrio, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Justin Harold Thomas, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Sean Thomas Thornton, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering with Sexton Distinction. Rishub Verma, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Randy Tyler Wadden, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Matthew Peter Walker, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Shen Wan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Sebo Wan, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Yan Wan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Yuan Wan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Sebastian Nada Wajaya, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Bailey Joanne Williams, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Tegan Williams, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Jeremy James William Wyatt, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Distinction. Zihao Yan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Shui Yan, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering with Sexton Distinction.
Jia Wan Zhoyang, sorry, <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Omar Hesham Helmi Mahmoud Youssef, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Tanjing Yu, Bachelor of Engineering in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Banghi Yu. Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Haiwan Zhang, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. Zian Zong, Bachelor of Engineering in Mineral Resource Engineering. <laughs> Liao Yong Zhu, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. Isaac Zito Clausen, Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Engineering. At this time, our engineering profession also recognizes the accomplishments of our graduates in their final year projects through the Engineers Nova Scotia Senior Project Awards. Would the following students stand at their seats to be recognized? The Engineers Nova Scotia Senior Project Award in Civil Engineering goes to Ahmed Nazir, Jacqueline McLennan, Liao Zhongzhu, Oscar Moyles, Swan Lee San Diego Garcia. The Engineers Nova Scotia Senior Project Award in Environmental Engineering goes to Hannon Jenkins, Chang Chen, Catherine McCool, uh, Jerry Hawley, Huzafe Hussan. Hussein. And the Engineers Nova Scotia Senior Project Award in Mineral Resource Engineering goes to Ross Bagnall, Cody Golan, Robert Barrett, Lloyd McCormick, and Mo Al Hassim. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Applied Science. Pauline Laela Bella, Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Ali Eranikal, Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering.
Dana McEachran, Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering. Carolina Antiveros Valdugo, Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering. Kyle David Rao, Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering. Andrew Howard Smith, Master of Applied Science in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Zhao Wen Zhang, Master of Applied Science in Environmental Engineering. Madam Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of those candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Applied Science degree. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I now have the honor to present to you the following candidates who are here or who have fulfilled the requirements of the Master of Engineering. Dronendra Alapadu, sorry, <laughs> Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Jithendra Nath Aitha, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Vishnu Vatran Aya, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Kumari Bandaragi, Master of Engineering and Civil Engineering. Ratan Singh Bhatti, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Shashi Nandan Burumula, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Arinda Singh Chaga, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Gopreet Singh Chandi, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Ravi Teja Chandari. Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Jayasari Sai Chimba, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Shamim Feroz, Master of Engineering and Internet Working.
Kiran Kumar Gantama Dugo Sadaka, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Arjun Gerir, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Ashish Kelsey, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Venkata Maria Gengaseti, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. <laughs> Krishna Piranka Garakapati, Master of Engineering and Civil Engineering. Pratwi Prushish, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Sanehit Reddy Kamadedi, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Anjik Kaur, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Vikas Khanna, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Tadak Shantaram Shezaga, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Vinath Kabalan, Master of Engineering, Internet Networking. Roger Rakish Makwan, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Yeah. Yeah. Iman Mashka, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Abdul Omar Muhammad, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Atal Rehman Muhammad, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. Kirtaraj Nagaraj, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Raj Nagaraj, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Guru Prasad Naranan, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. (Applause) 
Andrew Nwosisi, Master of Engineering in Internet Networking. Mohammed Astiak Omar, Master of Engineering in Internet Networking. <laughs> Paul Arenze Omakwa, Master of Engineering in Internet Networking. Patel J, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. <laughs> Vijay Kumar Polapale, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Viti Tara Devi, Master of Engineering and in Internet Networking. Umi Salasavi, Master of Engineering and in Internet Networking. Swathi Samanini, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Arsip Singh Sandhu, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Young Shah, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. <laughs> Ram Pravish Sharma, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Muzamil Ahmad Siddiqui, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Arshdeep Singh, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Inderdeep Singh, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. <laughs> Karanveer Singh, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Maninder Singh, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Satnam Singh, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking.
Chibo Tang, Master of Engineering and Internet Networking. Thamai Vedi, Master of Engineering, Internet Networking. <laughs> Nithi Alakshami Vedavidyan, Vedavidyan, perfect, <laughs> Master of Engineering, Internet Networking. Ayashi Vas, Master of Engineering and Networking. <laughs> Maduri Yaluri, Master of Engineering and Networking. Ashik Zenul Abdin, Master of Engineering and Internet Working. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of those candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Engineering degree. Madam Chancellor, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is the highest earned degree awarded by the university, and as such represents the culmination of the candidate's educational achievement. I am pleased to present to you the following candidates who, through thesis and, and, nah, thesis and examination, have fulfilled the requirements of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Madam Chancellor, the awarding of the PhD degree completes a long cooperation between the student and the thesis advisor. We are pleased in the ceremony to also recognize the supervisor of the doctoral candidate, and we ask the supervisor to stand and present the parchment to the graduate following hooding. Following the awarding of the degree and the hooding, it's with great pleasure I invite our newest PhD uh, to join the faculty on stage. Danielle Dempsey, Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering Mathematics, supervised by Dr. Wendy Gentleman. Mabarka Mahmoud Ali Mohammed, Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering, supervised by Dr. Fadi Tahari. Nizar. Nizar. And Sarah. 
Well, thank you all for being here today with your mother. Other than looking after your wonderful family, what else is on the agenda? Madam Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Thank you. Please join me once again in congratulating all of the graduates. I would also like to call attention to the families and friends of our graduates. We know that convocation is an important occasion for you as well. And I'm sure that all of us here recognize the importance of your love and your support along the way. So we would like to express our gratitude to you for the role that you have played. I'd like to ask the graduates and the onstage party to, to please stand as you're able. Graduates, your family and friends have been applauding you all morning. Now it's your turn to honor them with your applause. Please be seated. Dr. Craig Lake, a Dalhousie civil engineering professor, was inducted as a fellow of the Engineering Institute of Canada earlier this year. <clears throat> a recognition for his excellence in engineering and services to both his profession and to society. Praised by students for his exceptional and inspirational teaching abilities, Dr. Lake's achievements span beyond the classroom. For over 20 years, Dr. Lake has worked to protect our environment from contaminated soils and water. Specializing in the area of geotechnical engineering, his research focuses on waste containment systems and how contaminants in sites such as landfills travel through the soils and other engineered materials in our environment. Throughout his career, Dr. Craig Lake has certainly left his mark on his students and the engineering profession. So it is with great pleasure that I invite him to address convocation, Dr. Lake. Thank you. Yes. Where, where was that in class? Huh? <laughs> Chancellor? President, Vice Presidents, 
faculty members, guests, and most importantly, graduates. There are, <laughs> that's your cue, yeah. Uh, really, there aren't any words to describe, I guess, this gratitude of appreciation for being chosen to give this convocation address here today to you as future graduates. Um, but first of all, congratulations to you. Um, you know, whether it's an undergraduate degree in civil engineering, any civil engineers here? Yeah. Not so environmental? Yeah. Mineral resource? I know there's some graduate students here. Oh, they're not very loud. They're, they're more mature. But seriously, what you've accomplished today um, is really no small moment or it's not insignificant. It's really not the end, um, but in some ways it's the beginning. It's the beginning of this thing called life. So please, family and graduates, enjoy today because really it is a great moment. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, I've taught almost all of these undergraduate students here this morning. Um, they've heard me talk ad nauseum about soil mechanics and landfills and, and yes, the odd dad joke. <laughs> yeah. So by the way, did you hear the joke about the piece of paper? No. Never mind, it was terrible. <laughs> okay, so that, that's how my jokes go down, yeah. <laughs> So I won't travel down those familiar roads. 24 years ago, uh, I was just like you, sitting in a seat waiting to receive my civil engineering degree. And I'll be honest with you, I don't remember who gave it or what they said, um, but I'm sure in 24 years from now you'll have the exact same memory. <laughs> it's okay. However, I do distinctly remember being excited, somewhat nervous about what was to come, and more importantly, happy to celebrate the occasion with my friends and family. In some ways, it feels like yesterday. Um, in some ways, it feels like a lifetime. I'm pretty sure when I was your age, I was listening to the convocation address from someone who was very impressive in their achievements, uh, highly accomplished, and I never really thought at the time how somebody ends up on a stage like this. And, you know, myself, I come from a small town in Nova Scotia, Windsor, Nova Scotia, birthplace of hockey, in case you do not know that. Um, and I really had no idea that I was going to pursue a, a, a PhD in engineering and become a professor. And it sort of made me think a little bit about some of the advice that I've gotten over the years. So I want to share four pieces of advice, and just like I do in class, when you hear the fourth one, it's over, so don't worry. Okay. So my first piece of advice to you, which is easier said than done, and I think some of you are on your road to this already, is to find employment in a job that you will enjoy. Don't get me wrong, money is important, um, but honestly, usually on Friday nights, people don't spend their, their nights looking at their bank account. Um, they actually think about how the week went, good or bad. So personally, I've been very lucky. Um, I honestly don't think of my job as work. Sorry, John. <laughs> that, that, that's my boss, yeah. But to me, work is a chore and it's a grind. And when you do something that you really enjoy, it becomes a bit of a hobby and a bit of a sense of fulfillment in life. And I guess my wish for every one of you here this morning is that you can find a similar place of quote-unquote work. Now, I'm not suggesting to you that there aren't some students that annoy me some days. <coughs> Ali, I'm not going to mention your name. <laughs> uh, he, he had it coming, trust me. <laughs> no, every minute of every day is not feel, full of rainbows and unicorns. What I'm talking about is when you're in the proper frame of mind and you can take a little bit of a higher view of yourself and your life, really what you want to say is, okay, overall, most of this job I enjoy. So hopefully all of you will find that at some point in your life. It may not be your first job, it may not be your fifth job, but hopefully you all find that profession in life. My second piece of advice to you relates to learning. 
And let me share a quote uh, with you, someone who was obviously way smarter than me, Socrates, a great philosopher. And he said, education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. Even though you may not appreciate it yet, your education at Dal has prepared you very well to start your future career. All of those assignments, soils, landfills, whatever it was, exams were not a waste, even though perhaps some small part of you may think that they were. This education really has given you a base of knowledge that in all, honest, all honesty separates you from a lot of other people. It opens a door, however, you must go through that door and what you're gonna find is that there's other doors that need to be opened. It's up to you to realize how important a continued pursuit of knowledge will be, not just in your career, but also in your personal life. I couldn't find the exact quote uh, that I was looking for, but it goes something like, if you're the person um, at 40 that you were at 20, then you've probably wasted half of your life. Think of your strengths and weaknesses, try to improve your weaknesses, and try to keep up your strengths. My wish for you is that you understand the importance of education and learning as you continually try to improve yourself. My third piece of advice relates to your belief system. And I don't mean a belief system in a thing, um, but really, I guess, what I'm talking about is a belief system in people. This includes, most importantly, yourself. And as you get older, probably a, a belief in other people. These things are actually interrelated. Probably one of the things that I struggled with when I was your age was my confidence. Um, and I'm not sure why. I was the high school valedictorian, top of my civil engineering class, but for some reason I was never a confident person. I distinctly remember uh, my parents coming to see me at Acadia, my first, uh, I think it was the first Thanksgiving, and I had to tell them that I just passed my physics midterm, and I said to them, I'm pretty sure this is it. Uh, this term, I'm gone, so, you know, just so you know. And uh, I remembered, I, I know my parents don't, but they basically sat me down and said, Craig, whatever happens, happens, just do your best. And I think, um, really, my parents telling me this uh, gave me the idea that someone believed in me. Over a stretch of about 10 years, my feelings of lack of confidence were replaced with what I, what I would call quiet confidence. I started to believe in myself. And this is something that I would like you all to start doing today. Sometimes, to start believing in yourself, you need to surround yourself with people that believe in you as I said before. So I'm gonna do a little informal survey. This is something I do in class. So students, or graduates, more importantly, in the past four years, put up your hand if you had any doubts that you would actually make it here today. <laughs> See? Okay, now, audience. So friends, family, guests, I want you to give a loud cheer if you believed in your graduates. That, that worked out way better than I thought. <laughs> but I think you see my point. Whether we realize it or not, we all need someone who believes in us. For me, it was my family, my friends, my mentors. Make sure that you find these people and you keep them because it will help you succeed in life. Finally, advice number four, I hope you all realize that at some point in your life, whether now or later, that what makes you truly happy in life are not things you do for yourself, but what you do for others. As engineers, you've been blessed with a good brain, a good work ethic. Um, I want you, and I think others would as well, to use that for a, a good purpose in this world, something that you're passionate about. It could be at work, it could be at home, it could be something else in your personal life. Use the skills and training to help people when they need help. 
and I guarantee you that you will be satisfied with your efforts. You know, I just finished reading through all of my course evaluations in my Solid Ways course, and besides the one person who said I should dress better, <laughs> I think it was Allie. That's why I bought the new suit, Allie, by the way. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Most of the comments that I received related to how much I cared about students' welfare and performance. And I'll be honest with you here today because it's all over. Um, I don't do this because I have to. I do it because I personally enjoy seeing you grow and succeed as a person. And it's one of the, most of the satisfying things that I get to do in life. We love you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, thank you. Thank you. I, I honestly, I, I tell my wife this, I, I really do get a big kick out of you guys. Um, you, you make me laugh. Um, and nice, it's really nice for a professor to see students at such, such a young age change over a period of two to three years. As Helen Keller is attributed to saying, many persons have the wrong idea of what constitutes true happiness. It's not attained through self-gratification, but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. I hope that you're able to put some of this advice to use over the next few years, and hopefully you'll remember me in 24. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lang. Graduates, let me be the first to acknowledge that as you leave the auditorium today, you will officially become part of a Dalhousie alumni network of more than 135,000 people around the world. That's a, an incredible resource and a broad-reaching network, and I hope that you'll take advantage of this con connection to that global Dal community and get involved and stay involved in some way. We invite you to do that. In recognition of your new status, members of the Alumni Association will be presenting you with an alumni pin as you leave the ceremony today, and we hope that you'll wear it with pride. Congratulations again, and welcome to the Dalhousie Alumni family. <laughs> Graduates and guests, the business of convocation is concluded. Everyone is invited to a reception to be held in the sculpture court following the ceremony. After the singing of O Canada, you are requested to remain standing as you're able as the academic procession leaves the auditorium. And I now invite you to join James Whitley, a Dalhousie voice student, in singing our national anthem. Histoire et 
Thank you. 